What is so bizarre about this whole situation is that even though Megan Harry they stayed with Tyler Perry in his house when they moved to US and the duration of their stay was not too long. They came in March of 2020. They lived with Tyler Perry in his palace, in his mansion. What is so bizarre and strange is that nobody, including Tyler Perry, according to this report, saw Archie. Where was he? Is he a real kid? But before I talk more about that, I want to talk more about this particular article. And before we move on, I just want to remind you, most of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. If you are one of them, consider to subscribe. Meghan Markle describes her emotional first phone call with Tyler Perry, I was a wreck. Let's take a look at this uh, article and then I will show you a video where they will explain more about Tyler Perry, their relationship with him, Meghan Markle and also uh, Archie. We'll talk about that more in a second. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle first moved to California in March of 2020, they stayed at the home of actor and comedian Tyler Perry. While this fact has been widely known for some time, the finale of Netflix's intimate new docuseries Harry and Meghan offered new details about the couple's relationship with Perry. Now, we all know, according to the media and most of the reports, that Meghan Harry left the house. But now, according to this report, I will play the video in a second, it is claiming that Meghan Harry did not move out. Rather, they were kicked out from his house, from his mansion. But I had never met him before. Markle recalls in the series, basically Meghan Markle never ever knew who Tyler Perry was until she got married to this British monarchy, to this prince. And then, voila, all of a sudden, Tyler Perry became a very good friend of Meghan Markle, which you will find out in a second more. Explaining that their relationship began when Perry sent her a letter ahead of her wedding to Harry, expressing his sympathy regarding her public estrangement from her father, Thomas Markle Sr. Quote, he said he was praying for me and if I ever need anything, he would be there. Very bad role model, Tyler Perry. You are encouraging a daughter to cut off ties with her father. And you are saying you're going to support that. Very evil, very much not what we expect from a people like you. That time came years later when Megan was, by her own account, a wreck, quote unquote, after experiences with the media and in the royal family. Quote, I was just crying and crying. Sometimes it's easier to open up to someone who knows nothing at all. And that was the moment with me and Tyler, she says. Wow. She is saying you can just cozy up to a stranger who you never met. You only know him probably from Google search. I think Megan did a Google search on Tyler Perry too, in addition to Prince Harry, because she wants, she was looking for somebody to support her. She knew that she would always need somebody to support someone's help. So I think Megan was doing some Google research and found out, you know what, Tyler Perry is the best candidate. I can manipulate, I can emotionally blackmail him, and then I can stay with him and need his support. He will be there for me. This is what he said. But Tyler Perry is setting a very bad example. She was crying, 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 and then I was a wreck. Perry also sat for an interview with Harry and Megan, director Liz Gerbos, and describes his memory of that phone call in vivid terms. Quote, I could hear the fear. It was palpable. He says when she began listen, uh, listing exactly what she was afraid of, he said he responded by telling her that his fears were valid. His fears were valid in light of the way had his mother, Princess Diana, was treated. Again, somebody doesn't know any anything about Meghan. Very little about Prince Harry other than perhaps what he saw on the TV. Maybe he met a few times in the past with Prince Harry. I don't know. But his knowledge about Harry or Meghan was not enough. But nevertheless, you see him giving them shelter. You see them all of a sudden. He's feeling this sympathy. He's empathizing with them. I mean, just something so odd. And on, on top of all of this, he's actually also appearing, looks like, on the Netflix docuseries. I haven't watched the docuseries. But he was there too, looks like. And can you imagine somebody, a complete stranger, is doing so many things for you? So when it said that this same person kicked them out from his palace, from his house, 
I think it is quite um, hmm, understandable, I guess. What do you think? Let me know. Can this be possible? Can Tyler Perry kick out Meghan and Harry? Let me know in the comment section. American actor and movie director Tyler Perry is heavily featured in Spare, as he's credited with saving Harry and Meghan. When they fled Canada in March 2020, Tyler allowed the Sussexes to stay in his California mansion while they found their own place. Harry has admitted that he would roll a joint as wife Meghan Markle and son Archie slept while they stayed at Tyler Perry's California mansion. In his book, Harry recalls how he and Meghan loved Tyler's house, describing it as Sanadu. But with security concerns on his mind, he also details how when everybody had gone to sleep, he would find himself walking around the house, checking all the doors and windows. And in the memoir, he writes, Then I'd sit on the balcony or the edge of the garden and roll a joint. The house looked down onto a valley across a hillside thick with frogs. I'd listen to their late night song, smell the flower scented air, the frogs, the smells, the trees, the big starry sky. It all brought me back to Botswana. Cannabis has been legal for recreational use in California for those over the age of 21. However, Tyler Perry has surprisingly no inflammatory opinions left, despite previously defending the Sussexes. Rumours swirled that Tyler Perry kicked Harry and Meghan out of his house. In the Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan admit they'd never even met the Hollywood mogul before shacking up. I'd never met him before, Markle recalls, noting that the Diary of a Mad Black Woman star's letter stated he'd always be there if she needed anything. The Netflix clip of Harry with Tyler Perry at the mansion grounds made people think he's just so privileged and entitled. He was acting like he'd been an immigrant escaping to safety, but also expecting and demanding the kind of refuge that only the 1% of the world can enjoy in California. Like he thought it was his birthright that him and his 13 suitcases should be able to stay in an $18 million home to recuperate. There's a rumour about Tyler Perry being pissed at Meghan Markle for bullying his staff. According to a source who knows but doesn't want the name circulated, not only did Meghan throw a maid into a pool, she was elderly, and when Tyler Perry heard about it, he was enraged. This was his staff Meghan was mistreating, not her own staff. Not that Meg is ever entitled to mistreat anyone for any reason ever. We do know that Tyler Perry told Oprah to get them out of the house immediately, and Perry wasn't in town at the time, so Oprah had to move the couple into one of her own guest cottages. If Tyler Perry was very much a generous person, was very careful about Megan, then I think the reason, the other reason why he would kick them out is the obvious which is megan ended up bullying his own staffers that is also a big possibility just like william and the british monarchy they kind of told megan you should not be behaving with our staffers this way it is possible that megan repeated her behavior her bullying behavior with tyler perry when she was staying with him and eventually got kicked out that is also a possibility Something is not adding up to me about the whole story. Something else is out there, guys. I'm telling you. Thank you so much for watching.